So here we have a whole bunch of stainless and um, the majority of it is PVC coated from one side, different gauges from uh, 12 gauge all the way to quarter inch. And then on the other side, at the bottom of the cut, we have a little bit of dross could be removed by a cross belt machine, but also some splatter, and that may require a white belt. So we will run some samples directly just on the cross belt machine and others through the white belt machine. This part has very little splatter, so I'm not gonna run that through the cross belt machine. This has a lot of splatter. I'm just only gonna run that through the cross belt machine so that you can see what that would look like. Uh, without the white belt. Uh, whether you have splatter or no splatter, like on this part, will look the same after it comes out of the white belt. These are very small parts, usually hard to run on a white belt. We have a very sticky um, conveyor on the white belt machine. So um, we will run that. And um, also this one here has splatter here. We will run that through the white belt machine and this also has splatter so we'll run that through the white belt machine. This has no splatter so we'll just run that through the cross belt machine and this one we'll run one through the white belt uh, machine and two of them not. So this will just go through the cross belt machine as is and this will just go through the cross belt machine only and these five parts will go to the white material belt. thickness to the first thickness that we have about 4.8 we are going to turn on the white belt and we are going to turn on the conveyor we can run a fairly quick speed on here and we are going to submit the pipe nicely parallel and After it has gone to the white belt, we can speed this up so the part comes out quicker. There we are. And here we have the result. So this is a very nice, light finish on the white belt. So we press more on the end. It's a real good burning result. And the edges are sharp, as you can expect from a uh, surface drying process and we are going to slow this down again I'm going to run the second part there we go as we hear it finish we are going to speed up yeah and that removed all everything from the surface everything here so far is good the next material is 3.6 oh we're still going to run the small one so again we're going to slow down we're going to look for a clean spot on the conveyor Afterwards, we're going to run these pipes parallel to the grain through the edge rounding machine so that we can see what this is. So now we are going to go for 6 millimeter. Pop it. And again, we're going to hold it on. That was very quick at the high speed, which makes for a nice linear grain. And that should be totally sufficient to remove all the debris from the surface. And then the last part we are going to do is this thinner gauge, 12 gauge at 2.4. 
there we are. It's kind of going to slow our belt down. Get a better result. Here we go. parts that we did run through the white belt sander and the parts that we didn't. Then we're gonna go to the cross belt machine where we have a different type of block double slotted with some abrasive in this scotch brite actually. And a, a new, um, also a new um, media that is supposed to work more aggressively and smoother on stainless steel. That's the DM1100C. Of course, I'm the one-handed cameraman and machine operator. So we're gonna do both here. Um, we are simply going to turn the machine on. And then once we have that, we are going to turn the cross belts on. We're going to turn the conveyor belt on. We are going to run about 30 inches a minute. We are setting to our, these are new abrasives. This is about an eighth of an inch below the surface. We are going to start with the thicker material. Like I say, we are going to be running about 30 inches and full speed on the front. So here is our quarter inch. Here. 
about that. So this is CB only 30 inches per minute. Wide belt, plus cross belt, and we ran parallel. And then we have here wide belt plus cross belt, and we ran perpendicular. Okay. So, these are the first three parts, and we are going to do, since we have the thickness setting already, we're going to run the two small parts in front of the only. What you want to do for small parts is you want to keep them separate, the left and the right, and the left. Very nice super surface finish, but it's still a great 